Hey Luke, since the second booster just came out, wanna have a quick rush duel to test out our new cards? Bring it on, Yuga. Once again, I'll show you that I'm the one and only king of duels. Alright, then let's each draw four cards. Ready? Rush, rush duel! I'll take the first move. Draw! I summon two palm-sized dragons. And releasing both of them, advanced set. With that, I end my turn. Then it's my turn. I draw. I summon Mystic Dealer and use its effect. By discarding one Spellcaster from my hand, 7th Road Witch, I draw one card. Now I release Mystic Dealer to advance summon the level 6, Windcaster Tourney. Tourney's effect, I discard one card from my hand, Lightning Bull Condor, to change the battle position of one monster on your field. So show me what you've got hiding there, Luke. Ha, <laughs> you got me. It's my Shock Lead Dragon. But even though its attack is lower than its defense, it's still strong enough to stand up to your Tourney. Which is why I'm gonna do this. I summon Wolfram, and then by releasing both Wolfram and Tourney, I advance summon at level 7. Master of the Storm, heed my call and light my road through this turbulent battlefield. In a flash, Lightning Bull Condor strikes the field. Battle, I attack Shock Lead Dragon with Lightning Bull Condor. And with that, I'll end my turn. My turn, as per the Rush Duel rules, I draw until I have 5 cards in my hand. I summon Swinage Dragon and Dragon Set Upper. Releasing both, I advance summon at level 7, the Piercing Dragon, Bunker Strike. During the turn it's summoned, I can send the top card of my deck to the grave to draw one card for each of my opponent's monsters. After that, I return the same number of cards to either the top or bottom of my deck. So I'm going to return one card to the bottom of my deck. With that, I set one card and attack Lightning Bull Condor with Bunker Strike. Turn end. My turn, I'll draw five cards. Dang, I've got no choice. I set two cards and end my turn. Looks like luck's not on your side today, Yuga. I'll draw four cards and summon Swinage Dragon and Dragon Upsetter. And with that, I release two monsters on my field. Right now, Seven supernovas in my galaxy will gamma ray burst! I advance summon my ace! Level 7, the Rush Dragon Drag Ears! Setting two cards, battle! I direct attack you with Drag Ears! You think I'm just gonna stand by and take that? I activate the trap card! Dark Rebellion! When my opponent's monster declares an attack, I can return four spell casters from my grave to my deck to destroy all of my opponent's attack position monsters. I choose to return 7 Fruit Witch, Mystic Dealer, Wolfram, and Tourney. And with that, the two mighty dragons on your field are destroyed. Not bad, Yuga. As expected from the man I've come to recognize as my rival. I end my turn. Then it's over to me and I draw two cards. I summon 7 Fruit Mage and release it in order to advance summon 7 Fruit Witch. I think you know what's coming next. I discard Windcaster Tourney to activate Witch's Effect. It doesn't matter what stands in my way. Walls, mountains, planets, I'll break through them all and carve my own road. With 7th Road Witch's Effect, I special summon from the hand 7th Road Magician. And because of that, Witch's Attack increases by 400 until the end of the turn. Now I activate 7th Road Magician's Elemental Road! By sending the top card of my deck to the grave, it gains 300 attack until the end of the turn for each attribute I have in my grave. Currently, I have Light, Dark, Wind, and Fire, which means 7th Road Magician gains 1200 attack until the end of the turn. Battle! I direct attack you with 7th Road Witch and 7th Road Magician! Your life points are looking a little shaky, Luke. I end my turn. Not bad, Yuga. Not bad at all. But with these five cards, I'll turn the tables. I activate one of my set cards, Dragonic Pressure. By discarding three dragons from my hand, two upsetters and one dragiers, I destroy all monsters on the field. So now both Seven Fruit Magician and Seven Fruit Witch are out of my way. And since I destroyed monsters with this effect, I'm now allowed to special summon a level 4 or lower dragon from my grave in face-up defense position. And I choose to bring back Dragon Upsetter. Once per turn, if Upsetter is the only monster on my field, I can special summon a set upper from my grave in face-up defense position. Now I activate the spell Fire Dragon's Heat Flash. If I have a dragon on the field, I can destroy one of your spell trap cards. So let me crush that card right over there. 
Now I'll set my last card and turn in. My turn again, I draw. I summon Mystic Dealer, Stray Familiar, and Seventh Road Mage. Now releasing both Stray Familiar and Seventh Road Mage, come forth once more, my ace, Seventh Road Magician. But this time it looks like I won't have to use Elemental Road. I set one card and moving into my battle phase, I attack Upsetter with Mystic Dealer and set Upper with Seventh Road Magician. I end my turn. Then now I'll draw five cards to fill up my hand. I summon Phoenix Dragon and Twin Edge Dragon. Phoenix Dragon's effect, by discarding one card from my hand, I can return a level 5 or higher dragon from my grave to the hand. And the card I choose to retrieve is of course, my ace, Dragears. Releasing both Phoenix and Twin Edge Dragon, it's time for another Gamma Ray Burst. I advance summon, Rush Dragon, Dragears. I send the top card of my deck to the grave to activate its effect. During this turn, if it destroys an opposing monster by battle, it can attack once more. With that, Dragears attacks Mystic Dealer. And gaining an additional attack, it now attacks Seven Fruit Magician. How's that, Yuga? You may think you have the upper hand, but I'm gonna slowly catch up and turn the tables on you. Turn in. That was an awesome move, Luke. I draw. I activate the spell Recovery Force. By returning three spell casters from my grave to the deck, I get to draw one card. I'm gonna return my two Seven Fruit Magicians and Tourney. Now draw. Perfect. I got just the card I need. I summon Whispering Fairy and Mystic Dealer. Releasing both, I call upon my new ace once again, Lightning Bull Condor. But the moment Bull Condor is summoned, I activate the trap card, Dragon and Count. When my opponent summons or special summons a monster, I can special summon a dragon from my hand, face up. Surprise! Here comes my new ace as well, Shock Lead Dragon. Not too shabby, Luke, but how's this? I activate my set card, Attribute Change Bullet. By showing you one monster from my hand, until the end of the turn, all of your monsters become the same attribute as that monster. And the monster that I'm gonna show is Seventh Road Witch, a dark attribute. Now I'll activate Lightning Bull Condor's own effect. By discarding one monster from my hand, Seventh Road Witch, all of my opponent's monsters with the same attribute lose 300 attack and defense until the end of the turn for each of that monster's levels. And since both Shock Lead and Drag Ears have become dark attribute, both lose 1800 attack until the end of the turn. Here I come, I summon Seventh Road Mage and battle. I attack Shock Lead Dragon with Lightning Bull Condor. Thunderous Ground Zero! Gah! Nice duel, Yuga, but I won't lose next time. Anytime, Luke! This is the road I walk, so yeah! But I'm from Satisfied! I'll build a new age with the new rules in my mind, so stay! This ain't the end of the fight! We'll laugh and cry, be counter to vibe, and turn the tables, baby! Run, 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 rush, go, rush, rush, duel! Run, 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 run